Michelle's a pretty relaxed character. Um, likes to have a good laugh and a bit of fun. Very laid back. Very different to how she played the game of cricket. She's also a straight shooter at the same time. I don't think anything phases her too much, but she's got some really strong values and, and standards. For her to just take over the reins, I think it's, it's great for everyone. She just has this way of being able to relate to everyone in the team, whether they're a, you know, a fast bowler or a batter or a spin bowler. I guess knows when to switch on as well. I think that's something she's been really good at. So I think everything we do today um, and, and in the game, like whether it's in the field, just making sure, throwing the ball around, good throws back into Mitch. Let's just make sure our standards stay really high, keep plenty of movement, um, and make sure that, that we're still keeping our performance at a, at a really high level. One of her biggest assets is her knowledge of the game and obviously ex experience at that top level. I know for my personal experience with her at the Scorchers as well is that she just makes things simple and makes it as simple as it can be for each player. From a spin perspective she's a great person to lean on. There's plenty of great resources within the side but obviously she was um, someone in her time that absolutely dominated the game. She sits on the other side of the pickets now but um, I think she's an invaluable asset to this group and it's really exciting to see her step into that head coach role. I think she's very passionate about what she does and, and Australian cricket so it's lovely to have her. Well, I actually opened the batting with Shell for a little while and um, I remember actually we were playing England and um, I think it was my second game or something like that and um, the English girls would give me a little bit of stick and Shelly Nuski was right there behind me. She was standing up for me. I wasn't um, cool enough to say anything back but she told them where to go and um, they were pretty quiet after that. So um, that, was, that was pretty cool at the start of my career to have Shell there looking after me. I won't lie, I was a little bit scared of Shell when she <laughs> when I first came in, more so because I'd played against her a bit in domestic cricket and she got me out for fun and, and sort of told me where to go um, as a young, um, smart ass of a, of a debutante. So um, from that, I was a little bit um, concerned, but I guess once I got in the team, I got to know her a little bit more. She's just a really uh, amazing person, a really beautiful human. Yeah, I feel really privileged to have had the chance to play with Shell. I think she had quite a unique path to, to the Australian team and, and probably debuted a lot later than, than other players and um, as such I think when she got there she just really knew herself and, and the way she wanted to play cricket and, and she was incredibly successful I think around the time that I was playing it's the back end of her career but I think she opened the bowling, she opened the batting and um, you know it was one of uh, the best player in the world a couple of times. It can be a tough gig sometimes playing at the elite level but um, to have a coach that you feel like respects you and, and you respect them uh, makes it a lot easier but also means you're able to have some tough conversations at times and I think it's that straight shooting that she has with me which I um, actually don't mind when people kind of tell me um, straight down the line rather than beating around the bush with, with things and um, I think that's the best thing about her is she'll, she'll tell you how it is. You know when, when you're not feeling great either she's someone that you can lean on a little bit to get a bit of advice and, and insight into you know how, how you're feeling and things like that. I know everyone's excited for, especially myself and I know she is as well for the new challenge. She's a pretty competitive person, I've, you know, I played a lot with her um, as well so that competitiveness certainly comes out so I think it's a really good good mix um, for, for the group.